Okay guys, it's Cougar Power here with another video. Here's a template of the overall view of our defense, the way Mark Diano Frio runs it with three D linemen and four linebackers with a pass rusher coming up on the edge. And here's just a quick overview of what I think our defense could look like next year. Okay, so let's let's go over the defensive line real quick. On the far left, we've got Gerard Carter. Uh, last year, he was a pretty good player. Um, he was reliable. He did his job very well. He had 22 tackles on the season with five tackles for loss and one sack. So, I mean, coming out of high school, he was a two-star recruit. Um, and I think he's come a long way. He's a reliable player. I mean, not the best player, not quite the speed and agility as Ed Oliver. But he can do his job very well. And he's made some good plays that I've seen in the past couple years. And then let's move over to the middle, to the nose tackle. Big Ed Oliver. I mean, this man is insane. Nobody can block this guy. Number four coming out of high school on the ESPN 300. And he's considered by many to be the best player in all of college football right now. Yeah, you heard that right. The best out of the entire country, out of all positions. Um, he's most likely going to be a first-round NFL draft pick. And I mean, he's just going to wreak havoc on all the offensive lines next year, just like he's done the past two. Okay, now let's move over to Isaiah Chambers. Uh, Isaiah Chambers just transferred over from TCU. Coming out of high school, he was one of the best defensive ends in Texas, uh, number 167 on the ESPN 300. And this is, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, I think having two top defensive linemen on our defensive line, plus Gerard Carter, that's got to be one of the best defensive lines in the American Athletic Conference. You know, as it was last year and the year before, offenses primarily would double-team Ed Oliver and have two linemen blocking him. But, I mean, now we've got uh, two top defensive linemen, Ed Oliver and Isaiah Chambers. So, I mean, wow. I think our defensive line is going to be great next year. I see it as being probably the highlight of our defense. I give it an A+. All right, now let's take a quick look at the linebackers. So our left outside linebacker is Leroy Godfrey. Um, last season, he had 33 total tackles. Um, he had eight tackles for loss and a sack in the East Carolina game. He's a reliable player. Um, he's good. Not a great player like Matthew Adams or Dewan Hines, but he can do his job. Uh, in the middle, we've got Darion Owens. Coming out of high school, he was an elite linebacker, number 246 in the ESPN 300. Um, and he actually played under Mark Dionafrio while he was at Miami. So I think he'll fit right into our defense because he already knows how Mark runs his defense and what he wants out of him. And then right next to him, we've got Austin Robinson. I mean, I'm just so glad that Austin is returning from last season. We've lost so many great linebackers over the years. And the main thing that I remember Austin Robinson for is his game-saving tackle in the Tulsa game in 2016 at the goal line. Last year, he had 37 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, and a sack. This guy was very good. Um, he was an integral part of our defense last year. He started all 12 games. And yeah, I'm so glad he's back. Great player. On the right, we've got Amike Egbule for our outside linebacker. Um, Amike Egbule was a very good player last year. He, he had 6.5 tackles for loss. Uh, 62 total tackles, wow, and multiple sacks. Very good player. I mean, 62 total tackles. He was he finished fifth on the team in tackles. Uh, he was a great player. I I mean, I'm just glad he's back. I wasn't so sure about our linebacker crew uh, in the beginning, but with the addition of Darion Owens and the return of Austin Robinson and Yamike Agbule, I mean, I think we're looking pretty well. Now let's move over to corners. So. Uh, for our left cornerback, I put Alexander Myers. Uh, he was he was a reliable player last year. He he played in eleven games, uh, started ten times. He totaled forty two tackles in the season, um, and six pass breakups. He uh, actually had a blocked field goal and returned it for ninety four yards for a touchdown against Fresno State. Uh, he also had one tackle for loss and a pass breakup versus Memphis. I think he's a good player. I think he was much better than Jeremy Winchester. And 
you know, I, I had a hard time choosing over either him or Isaiah Johnson. With this one, I say it's a toss-up. It could either be Alex Myers or Isaiah Johnson. They were both very good players, but here I have Alex Myers. And for our right corner, we have Nick Watkins. I mean, man, I cannot stress enough how good it is to get so many ESPN 300 players and graduate transfers. Just having that kind of talent on our group of five team is is, is huge. I mean, competing in the American Athletic Conference, not many teams have this many top players than the country. So Nick Watkins was number 123 on the ESPN 300 coming out of high school. Very good cornerback. I mean, go you can go watch his highlights on YouTube at Notre Dame. He was very good. And I think he he kind of saved our our um secondary this season after the the departure of Jeremy Winchester. He's going to come right in and help us out very well. All right, now let's take a look at our safeties. On the left, we've got Deontay Anderson. Number one safety coming out of high school in the entire country. Number 41 on the ESPN 300. Played at Ole Miss and decided to transfer here. And man, am I glad he chose Houston. Because this guy is a huge playmaker. Great safety. This guy knows what he's doing. He's one of the country's most elite players. And man, having him on our defense is huge. I cannot stress that enough. He's just a good player. Number 41 on the ESPN 300. I mean, his numbers just speak for himself. There's not much else to say there. Great addition to our team, and he should help us out a lot. On the right, we've got Garrett Davis. Garrett Davis, he's one of my favorite players, honestly. I mean, just great playmaker. He's had so many big plays in his time at U of H. Uh, he had that huge hit on Samaj P. Ryan OU's running back in the 2016 season opener. He had an interception in the Arizona game in the 2017 season opener. He's just he's just a big playmaker, and we need guys like that. We need guys who can make big plays. He had totaled uh, 51 total tackles last season, um, six tackles for loss, and multiple pass breakups throughout the entire season. He did have his mistakes, but those can be fixed in the offseason. I mean, our safety uh, group is looking very good. Deontay Anderson, Garrett Davis... Those guys should should do like some huge damage on the, the offenses next year. All right, well, that wraps up my analysis for our defense for next season. Uh, overall, it looks very good. Defensive line looks very good. Linebackers look good, too. Cornerbacks and safeties, I mean, man, we've got lots of talent. I can't wait for the season to start. As always, go Cougs.